Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate video. And in today's video, you guys have been asking for this one for a while now, so I finally got around to making it. And today, I'm going to be talking about melding, both items and talisman. For those of you that are new to Monster Hunter, talisman are effectively items that you can wear in addition to your armor and they supplement your armor skills. Sometimes they will simply help you with a small increase like a plus 5 or something like that, whereas other times you'll get a complete plus 10 talisman which causes the skill to be active the moment you wear it. I'm going to speak more about armor skills next week in an actual video, but for the time being just know that talisman are very useful and if you're not wearing one then you're missing out. Now, when you progress through the single player campaign you will get to a point where you reach this place, a village named Cathar. And if you head to the back of the village you will find this funny looking chap here named Maximeld the 14th. He operates the massive melding pot that sits behind him and it's here that we'll be melding to both multiply items and create new talisman. Let's start with the easy one. Item Duplication. This is not to be confused with the item duplication done at the Waikun. He does duplicate items, but not these items. He's more for consumables and things like mushrooms, honey, bugs, etc. Maximeld, on the other hand, is more for actual items, like monster pots. If you select the Meld Items option, you'll be presented with this list of items, some of which are no doubt rather useful to you. For example, spiderwebs or Kelby horns, or on the next page, maybe dash extract. Either way, whatever it is, if it's in this list, you can duplicate it. Notice how on the left it has a cost. In order to duplicate an item you need to have the item in the first place, and alongside that you need a Frenzy Stone, Shard, Crystal, they name differently depending on the rank they come from. These Frenzy Crystals are the ones that you receive in reward boxes at the end of quests, usually after defeating a Frenzy Monster. Frenzy Shards are the lowest rank and they increase, you'll see that on page 3 for example I have pure Frenzy Crystals, etc. Either way if you simply locate an item you want to duplicate, so in this case I want to duplicate a Spiderweb. You select it, you hit Meld, and you will now see that my own counter is one higher than it was before. I can continue to do this for as long as I have crystals and obviously the item itself. So that is relatively simple. Now let's talk about melding talisman, which is a little bit more confusing but the principle is still the same. This option is used again in combination with frenzy shards, crystals etc to create a new talisman from talisman you already own. Firstly, when you select meld talisman you are presented with an array of options. Mystery, luminous, ancient, fabled, Halcyon and Juju. Now the top four options are pretty simple and they all behave in the same way. If we select the mystery melding option you'll see it presents me with a list of my talisman. Scroll through the pages and you'll see some are greyed out. That is because mystery melding can only be done with bishop or pawn talismans. The next one luminous melding can be done with rook and knight talismans. Then you have ancient melding which can be done with queen, king or dragon talismans. And lastly you have the Fabled option, which takes Hero, Legend or Creator talismans. All of these will result in one charm being created. Charms are then appraised and you receive a talisman in return. Mystery Melding will give you one Mystery Charm, Luminous will give you one Shining Charm, Ancient a Time Worn Charm and Fabled an Enduring Charm. So let's take Ancient as an example. I simply pick three talismans I don't really want, so for example I'll grab this one, I'll grab a Dragon Talisman and I'll also grab another one of these King Talismans. And then, provided I have the required Frenzy Stone, which in this case is a Vile Frenzy Crystal, I can then submit my order. You can submit a total of three orders, so let's continue with the tutorial first before I complete this list. The next two options are arguably your better choices. They require more Frenzy materials, however the rewards are much better. You can, if you're lucky and depending on what you put in, get a total of seven charms in return. That is the max, more often than not you'll probably average more around four or five, but either way that is what you could potentially get. So if we begin by opening the Halcyon Melding option, you can already see this takes a much wider array of talisman, right from some of the rarer ones all the way down to the more common mystery ones. I'm missing some of the higher ranked talismans, but in short, the talisman you can use will be lit up, so the ones you can't will be dark. Now, the results from this will vary, and what you get in return is random. In other words, you can't put in two talisman of similar skills and expect the same or better in return. The actual skills are random, but what you can do is help influence the rarity that you get in return. In its most basic form, the rarer or better charms you put in, the better your results. So if I were to put in 3 mystery charms, I clearly wouldn't get as good a result as if I put in 3 dragon charms, or something higher. So for now let's go with 2 dragon talisman and 1 king talisman. You hit yes and once again you submit your order. Then the final option is juju melding. This is generally your best option, it requires more frenzy materials but your results are much better. Now ideally I'd combine talisman that are much rarer than the dragon ones I have, but unfortunately I don't have any at the moment so again let's go with these dragon talisman. Provided you include one of a particular type of talisman, you generally have a chance of receiving it in the rewards. So if you only had one dragon talisman and a load of knights, then you could put in that single dragon talisman and still have a chance of getting that in the rewards. 
So, now that I have all of my talisman set, I simply need to go and complete a number of quests and come back and claim my rewards. For the first four talisman melding options, you simply need to go and complete one quest and you can return to max meld. For the house you're melding, you need to complete two quests, and for the juju melding, you need to complete three. So you can go and do whatever you want. Some people favour these state delivery quests. Personally, I just go off and do a gathering quest, wait for the supplies to be delivered, and then hand them in. Either way, once you're completed, return to max meld. If you then go and speak to him, you can then scroll down to the claim talismans option, and you can then see in your three different lines are your different rewards. You then hit appraise, and it will turn those charms into talisman. Now, on the top line are the results of my ancient melding. As I previously stated, you only get one talisman in return, and this one isn't that great. So unfortunately, I haven't done so well this time around. Then on the next line, the results from my Halcyon melding, you can see I have five talismans in total, which is obviously a much better haul. I have a rook talisman, which isn't that great. I have a knight talisman. I also have two more rook talismans, and I have a queen's talisman. So again, given what I put in, the results aren't that great. However, as you can see on the bottom, I've got a total of six talismans, and this is why I said people favour the Juju talisman melding, simply because the rewards are that much better. If you remember correctly, I put in Dragon Talisman, so in return I have one Dragon Talisman here, which has plus 4 pierce up and plus 11 water attack, which for a Dragon Talisman isn't too bad, it's not necessarily the greatest one, but it does have an immediately active skill with a plus 11. Then scrolling over I have two Knight Talisman, not particularly great, but then over here I have a Legend Talisman, which is considerably rarer than the Dragon Talisman I put in, and I have two of those. And then over here I have a Creator Talisman, rare 10. So as you can see, for the Talisman that I put in, I actually got quite a good haul. Whether or not you want to use these still remains to be seen, and I could similarly take these, put them back into the melting pot, and potentially get something even better in return, but then similarly I could get something worse. Either way, that is how melding works in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. So just to recap, the best thing for you to do if you're going to be using up your talisman is to spend time with the Juju melding. Yes, it does take more frenzy materials, but your outcome is invariably going to be better. The better stuff you put in, the better stuff you get out. And that brings me to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful, hopefully you enjoyed it, and as always if you did, don't forget to leave a like and hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you're not already subscribed and you're not already part of the Arix Gaming Nation, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. Let me know in the comments down below if you do still have some questions regarding this, but otherwise, hopefully, for those of you guys who are asking to see this, hopefully this has answered your questions. But either way, anything you want to know, let me know in the comments down below, or you can message me on Twitter, at AREKKZ. It's on screen right now. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.